Hey, what's up? What I had on my mind is spiritual development, right? Now, how do we find spiritual development? We all got different answers on how to get there. That's why we are all on different journeys on how to get there. But the spiritual thing, how do you develop a spirituality that's satisfying to the soul, but still moving accordingly? Your knowledge is according to what the Most High would like for us to have as individuals. So people, they get involved in different beliefs. And some people will say, look, this is no religion. This is my way of life. But then they say the belief comes from the Most High. And they consider that. Once you got scrolls, Torah scrolls, Bible scrolls, that's part of religion. So do the development of the soul on a spiritual level does that come from books? Can we read the Bible and the Quran and become real spiritual? Or is that something that our mind revolves around? And sometimes we play trickery with our own mind and deceive ourselves in the idea that we are benefiting spiritually in a situation where there is no real development. Is development learning a few chapters, knowing a few verses, does that increase the soul? Does that take you out the plight that you are living, if there's any plight in your life, past or present? And, you know, I feel like religion is like third world countries. So third world, third world countries, if you don't know, is like a place that's undeveloped. It doesn't have full body construction where there are full buildings, complete windows. And some things mostly in third world countries look undeveloped because they've been damaged through battles, through wars, bombs, grenades, they've been damaged. So now this is what your soul is, the third world. It's not the first, the second, it's the third world. It's undeveloped. And then we will contribute the materialistic things that we buy, cars, houses, etc. In the name of Jesus, it's because, you know, my belief as a Christian and I'm a good Christian. So God bless me with a house and nice car and a nice family. And then if you talk to a Muslim, they will have the same idea. Oh, I believe in the law. I follow the ways of Muhammad. And people, when they follow Muhammad and the ways of Allah, you're liable to have this nice house. I'm about to buy another house. I done ship both of my daughters off to college because Allah is most merciful. So now spirituality, spiritual development is supposed to deal with the soul. But somehow people intertwine was considered to be blessings because of their religious faith that these materialistic things they get in this world is by God. But not only by God, it's by the belief system that you follow. So if I follow, I'm like a Jew or something, because right now that's the popular thing right now. That's the trend to be a Jew, a black Jew. So I'm a black urban Jew. And then they like, wow, drama, when you was being to Islam, you didn't have all this. You should have stuff, but not like this. Wow, drama, when you was into the Baptist thing, you didn't have this. But now that you became a black Hebrew, you got a nice Acura. I see you got a brand new girlfriend. She's pretty too. Yeah, she's very pretty. So is this due because I did certain things, certain actions, I was in certain places at certain times, and based on my actions, regardless of what my belief is, it's my actions that got me these material things? Because if we talking about spiritual development, you got people that will be like, look, you want a car? Manifest it. 
Just keep saying it. Throw it out into the universe. And I'm like, word? So I could just sit at home and be like, look, I'm going to sell clothes and my clothes are going to sell eventually because whatever I got is just going to sell because I keep throwing out there into the universe. I'm not going to the most hot. Even though the most hot owns the universe. I believe when people say the universe, sometimes they are and they're not including the most hot. The universe is like whatever out there is going to answer your prayers. So I posted this depend on whatever out there to answer my prayers. You probably feel the same way about people like me that goes to the most high to answer get our prayers answered. I understand that. But at least I feel I'm going to something that's direct, even if I can't see it, is direct. Once you say it's just out there in the universe, you know how big the so-called earth is alone? So in the universe, the universe could be anything, anybody. There's no direct statement when you say the universe. But people who say they are spiritual say this is what you do. This is how you manifest what you want. So that's like being a genie, right? You're your own genie. So does this take a month, two months, five months, five years? You just sit at home and sit out on a bench and I wish I had a car, wish I had a car, then two years pass. Because you keep throwing it out there in the universe. So at some point, you're going to come up, you're going to wake up and the keys, the keys to the car probably sitting on the kitchen table. And you're like, wow. Then you go outside and the car got a ribbon on it. And there's no, like, it's anonymous. You don't know how you got this car. The paperwork is in there with your name on it already. And you ain't signed nothing. Because you manifest this through spirituality. So I'm like, what is spirituality? Because there's our different point of views of spirituality if you one who says you are just spiritual. <clears throat> then people who in religion will also say they are spiritual. Somebody like me, I believe in the most high, but I'm not spiritual. I have reasons for why I'm not spiritual. But if you entertain and you like spirits and some people get possessed by spirits and we know about spirits, but yet we feel like we are spiritual. So that's your issue. What well, all I'm saying is, how do we reach spiritual development through religion? And your years, if you have been spending years running around into the world of religion, have you benefited besides materialistic things? Has your mind increased within your knowledge of understanding the most high? Or have your knowledge increased and this increased even greater than the knowledge that you have? You like this overflow past the knowledge and go, look, we love this man because he loves you. Hey, some people believe in man to lead the way because men are meant, meant to lead the way. Especially if we have a family, a wife or you know, kids with the woman, we ought to lead the way. That's not no male chauvinist. That just, you know, that's how the most high design, design things in life for us to lead the way. I mean, this is natural. Even if some animals inhabit it, in habitat, who leads the way? The male. So just think about spirituality, spiritual development, is your spirituality in the stage of a third world? Or is your spirituality <clears throat> is actually allowing you to get into your inner self, to know you, to establish the God, as we say, inside of you? Because he said he made us of his image, but I think some people take the idea of God way past God himself. But anything, anyway, anyhow, this is it for now. Until next time, to next week, to tomorrow, or the next hour on the clock, we will meet again. So thank you for hanging out, banging out, rocking out with drama, rock, broken style. Brooklyn can have it no other way. Peace. <laughs>